this, this is a place where, you know, athletes of, of all backgrounds, um, all sports uh, can come in, um, learn how to train, train at the highest level, and have the tools, resources, personnel, technology um, to be able to do that uh, on a daily basis. So we are actually sitting out here having a barbecue. It was like, Ashley, I'm gonna buy that building. And he said, we need people, these kids in this community need a place to go and train. It was exciting, but yet it was really nerve wracking because you, you, you hope that people are gonna come and take advantage of it, but you just, you don't ever know. I forget it, I was in Academy Sports with my wife, Lauren, who calls me with an opportunity and said, uh, Hey man, I'm, I'm you know getting some lessons out of Maiden and back in the area, and uh, got a got a big vision here uh, with, with Athletes Lab, and we're working out of a uh, I call it a shed. It's probably a 1,200 square foot metal building, big enough for two cages uh, and a mound in between them, over in the middle of a neighborhood in a field. It was really stressful at first because it was roughed up building, and you can kind of see his vision. Grant got this building in October of 2019. And here we were in, in January, three, four months later, uh, with you know, eight cages, five mounds, and, uh, all the resources you could you can imagine. Why I started was, you know, I, I had that itch, um, the passion for being around kids, for developing kids at a high level. Um, and then as a result, it is where it is today. To have a facility like this in the community where I went to high school is unbelievable. I'll, the opportunities that kids uh, within a couple hour uh, radius can, can come in and work, something that we never had, uh, an opportunity that all kids can, can have in the area. Everybody has a genuine caring for uh, trying to get the kid better, um, you know, tell them how to work on things and show them how to work on things. Elite development is putting a process in place for young athletes uh, to be able to, to train um, at a high level, but most importantly, uh, to take ownership uh, and accountability of their development. I'm just, I'm, I'm so proud of him and I'm proud of, of the, the people he hired, he brought back his brother, and we're all close, we're all here. Kids that have come and the parents, we have gained so much from this facility by having an extended family. Uh, there's big plans ahead. You know, I encourage, we encourage, um, you know, here at Athletes that you know, having a, a strong and big vision. Uh, the more athletes we can reach, kids we can impact, mission is being accomplished. This has been the, the ultimate vision of, of Athletes Lab. All right, coming on our one year anniversary, I want to take this opportunity to you know, really look back and, and thank many people that were instrumental 
um, in the building of the Athletes Lab Performance Center and, and where we are today. And it was a tough year. Uh, we opened right, right in the beginning. Um, and then, you know, three months later, um, you know, COVID hit. Um, but we all pulled together and, uh, you know, a lot of people need to be recognized. First and foremost, I want to thank my wife, uh, Ashley Rembert, for being uh, by my side uh, every step of the way over the last six years and really beyond. Um, and then, of course, I want to thank my brothers uh, for uh, Aaron and JR. They are instru all of them instrumental uh, in the building of Athletes Lab. Uh, and then, of course, uh, I want to thank all the workers uh, that have been a part of it. Uh, and last but not least, um, I want to take the time to, to really thank the parents and the players. And thank you for sharing uh, your kids with us. Uh, we're, like I always say, it takes a community uh, to, to really grow and develop uh, these young athletes. And again, I just want to take this time to, to really thank you guys on all that.